गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज योर वैल्यू एजुकेशन पीरियड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद न्यू लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर टू बीइंग पोलाइट द स्टोरी ऑफ टू किंग्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वी विल लर्न दैट पोलाइट बिहेवियर मेक्स डिफिकल्ट जॉब्स इजी दैट पोलाइटनेस विंस द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट पोलाइटनेस शोज वन ट्रू नेचर think and do look at the pictures below which picture shows politeness and why have a class discussion you can see and you can tick the picture in which you can see politeness here the behavior of this boy do you think he is polite to his grandpa no but in this picture yes so you need to tick this picture okay now time to read the two kings once upon a time there were two kings king raja and king mohan their kingdom were next to each other they were not on very friendly terms king raja was a rude and impolite man he never listened to his subjects he always shouted and screamed and blamed the people for all the problems subjects means the people he always had a frown on his face he was disliked by everybody in his kingdom nobody liked king raja king mohan on the other hand was kind gentle and polite he never shouted at anybody he never interrupted people when they were talking he listened to his subjects and worked for their good his subjects had great respect for him they always stood by him one day king raja declared war against king mohan both side prepared their armies of war on the day the war was supposed to begin the two armies stood on the battlefield facing each other king raja shouted and ordered his army to begin the attack but something strange happened the soldiers did not move even a finger king raja kept on screaming and repeating his orders but in vain but of no use the army remained where it was and stubbornly refused to fight king raja was let down by his army because they had never heard a polite word from him King Mohan won the war without a fight and started ruling over both the kingdoms. He was loved by all and it was because of his politeness and gentle behavior. Source a folk tale. Time to understand politeness means using kind and gentle words when we speak with others. Through these words we give others their their due respect. Certain physical gestures are also considered impolite. banging the doors when leaving a room or talking to elders with our hands in our pockets and uh, are considered impolite it is discourteous to get up from the dining table while others are still eating so we must excuse ourselves if we must do for so for some reasons the tone of the tone of our voice and the expression on our face also show how polite we are good to know certain gestures which are considered polite in one culture might be considered impolite in another culture and certain languages such as urdu and japanese are said to be extremely polite in terms of the way in which the words and phrases are used so activity make a list of some gestures that have that are considered polite you have to write the gestures here okay work out what should you say or do in the following situations when you want to draw somebody's attention what do you have to do sorry what you will say here it is excuse me isn't it excuse me then when you have unknowingly stepped on somebody's foot i am sorry i apostrophe m and s o r r y sorry then before entering somebody's room what you have to do you have to knock k n o c k when somebody gives you something we need to say thank you isn't it when you don't understand what somebody just did so what is this you find out okay answer the following i'll continue in the next video thank you